Welcome to What Wendy Wears. My name is Wendy, and today I have a fabulous episode for you, and it is all about Fabletics. Most of us have heard about Fabletics. Fabletics is all over social media. They're also in our malls, and they have a lot of influencers that are also displaying their products. So is it actually worth it? Because they are a subscription company. If you ever go to their website, they have great prices. However, in order for you to get those great prices, you have to be part of their VIP system. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to show you some of the pieces that I got from them to see how well their quality is. And then on top of that, we're going to take a look at their subscription plan and how it may work for you. Hey, is it worth it? It may or may not be for you. So I'm going to tell you my honest truth as a person who has had Fabletics in the past and who has just joined their VIP program again, I will let you know if it's worth it. Okay, so from here, what you're able to see is the Fabletics page. I went ahead and typed in fabletics.com, and it took me here where it asked me, welcome to Fabletics, and it asked me if I want to shop for women's or if I want to shop for men. So I want to shop for women, so I'm going to click on women. So from here, it gives me the different options as far as what is currently available. And it tells me that right now they're having a sale, the two for 24 leggings uh, plus 70% off uh, site-wide, which is what I originally got. And honestly, their prices are amazing. So I'm gonna click on um, unlock your offer. So from here, it's gonna start asking me some questions like what am I shopping for? I'm gonna put anything at leisure. It's going to ask me what's my um, style. I actually like colors and patterns. Actually, you know what? Let me go back. I actually like mixing it up because sometimes I like to be in my neutrals and sometimes I also like to be in my colors. So bottom size normally um, XXL, bra size, and then tops are usually XL. So let's take a look. From here, I'm going to type in my zip code. How do I hear about them as well? I'm going to type in, I don't know, let's do TV commercial. All right. Then uh, one last thing, they want my information. So I'll type in my information, create a password. All right. So now that I saved the, uh, created a password and logged in, it's going to take me to the welcome page of Fabletics. From there, um, let's see what they have. They have a variety of different outfits, and as they told me, they have two bottoms for 24 plus 70% off anything else that I want to purchase. Now, one thing that I have looked over um, over the, the years, especially with Fabletics, is that they do have a section where um, if you go to women's, you can take a look at their outfits and bundles. Outfits and bundles usually will give you two to three pieces at a discounted price, which normally is a lot cheaper than if you buy the pieces um, separately, even if you are taking a look at the two for 24 or any other price. So um, here it gives you a variety of different items. And then um, let's say that you're looking for this two piece pumped outfit. It tells you it's $40 for both the sports bra and also the leggings. $20 a piece for each item. Honestly, it is great. One thing that you will notice is that, that it will give you the price for non-members, which if you were not a member or if you decide not to join their VIP program, it's going to cost you $134 for this two-piece set. So would you rather pay $40 or would you rather pay $134? So here I'm going to pick my colors um, as it states. You could have the different colors that they offer. And then it also gives you the sports bras. So I'm going to pick the item as is. And then um, from here, let's see. Oh, the colors are actually, if you notice, the, this indigo color, they don't have it. Let me try the other color. And they do have it in an XX. L and that's regular and then I'll do a black sports bra in XXL as well 
and it's still $40 as you can see and I'm going to put VIP bag. So once I did that, it puts it into my shopping cart. I'm going to go to checkout and it does tell you that you have an hour to check out in order for you to keep this price. So it's telling you to grab some of these items. So here it also gives you some additional sale items that they may have um, that you may be interested before you actually check out. So it has a variety of different pieces. And then I'm just going to go ahead and click on continue. Now, if you purchase something over $50 or if your account ends up being over $50, then they do give you free shipping and you have different ways that you're able to um, pay, whether it's PayPal or uh, pay with Afterpay. Now, um, you will notice that the subtotal did give me $134.90. And then with the discount, it ends up being $40. So one thing it does give you the join VIP and it says up to 50% off of non-member prices, free shipping on any order, $49.95 or above. And it gives you reward points and Fabletics um, fit workout app that is also included. So if you want to wor work out using the app, you have the capability of doing that. Now, it does tell you how the membership works. Now, with Fabletics, it's a one membership with two brands, all access, all Fabletics VIPs. You will automatically enjoy the same VIP perks and uh, prices as our new sister shapewear brand, Yiddy. Uh, you could skip months, and it does tell you that you have the option to skip between the first and the fifth of the month um, to avoid a $60 charge, and you could skip it at any time. There's no obligation to buy and you could cancel at any time. If you do not skip, your credit card is going to be charged to $60 on the 6th until you cancel. Your $60 membership charge unlocks membership benefits, including any promotional options. So it does state that you can it can be redeemed for any priced outfit up to $100 before that credit expires in 12 months. So here it gives you the full workout as far as what it is. Now let me tell you about a trick that I've figured out with Fabletics. Now each month, as it mentions, that they do charge you $60 if you are interested in continue their VIP and you could purchase up to um, $100. This is the thing about it though. If you end up purchasing something between the 1st and the 5th, during that time, they do give you some offers and it will send you uh, to your inbox some of the pieces that they pick, including the outfits that they have on sale. Now, the problem is, is that a lot of the times the outfits that they have on sale cost a lot more than the $60. So what I have learned is if, they, I, if I allow them to take out on the 6th of the month my $60, then I could purchase outfits through either out the month or possibly in the following month, um, any piece up to $100. So to me, it's, it's more cost effective if I just let them charge my $60, let them hold it, and then within the 12 month period, purchase an outfit within a $100 price point. And sometimes they have some great sales throughout the month. I know that the only thing is, is that if you're looking for this brand new outfit that just came out and you don't purchase it by the fifth, a lot of the times it may be sold out. So that's the only thing that you may have to uh, consider uh, when it comes to Fabletics. But a lot of the times you're able to buy a lot of the other items on sale at a better price if you don't purchase something between the first and the sixth, or excuse me, first and the fifth. So for you, it is cost effective. Now, for me, do I think it's worth it? I think it is worth it if you buy a lot of workout clothes. If you're not a person that buys a lot of workout clothes, then I don't think it's worth it to you. Now, I really think that their prices are very cost effective compared to other places where you're able to buy just one pair of leggings for like $100. I mean, I purchased a pair of leggings from Lululemon costing me $80. And honestly, I think that the quality at Fabletics was a lot better than Lululemon, but it could have just been the type of leggings that I purchased. So um, again, do I think it's worth it? I honestly do think that Fabletics is worth it if you are a person who purchased a lot of 
workout wear. If you're not, then it's not worth it. So I did decide to buy some pieces from Fabletics. I mean, to me, their prices are great. And I do wear a lot of athletic wear because I like to go hiking. I also go out to the gym and work out. So for me, it is a good deal. So I'm going to show you some of the pieces that I just purchased. So the first items that I purchased was three pieces. Now, I actually purchased this in a set, which comes with the pants and the sports bra. The top, I ended up purchasing it separately. When I was purchasing their items, if you became a VIP member, you would be able to get 70% off of any of their pieces. So the first item that I chose was this seamless top. Now, in the past, I have owned uh, Fabletic seamless tops, and I absolutely love them. This one, as you can see, just a, a black top, long sleeve because it is the winter time. And I really love the beautiful detail that they have on the shirts on the side. So here, if you see me pull it a little bit, you'll be able to see that they have these uh, little perforations on them. And they also have the perforations here at the very top around the uh, chest area. So I absolutely love their seamless tops. Uh, this one does go all the way up. Um, also, it has um, the perforations on the sides here on the shoulders. And this is super stretchy. I believe I got this in an extra large. I'll put the name of the top in the description, outfit by outfit. And I think this top only really cost me like $12 for a seamless top and the quality of it is absolutely fabulous. I love it. Super stretchy, super comfortable. I've, like I mentioned, I've owned some of their seamless tops before in the past and I absolutely love them. So the next two pieces I actually purchased in a set, which was the sports bra along with the pants. Now, these are their uh, power hold pants, which I absolutely love. The only thing that I've noticed that most of their power hold pants don't have pockets here on the side. Sometimes they have like this little pocket here in the front. So if you need to put like your key or something, you have your key or your credit card there in this front pocket. What I do love is that the waistband is super thick. So it kind of hold, it holds you in because like I said, it has a name power hold. This is a thicker material. So if you're looking for a type of legging that has super stretch and does not have compression, these are not it. When it comes to compression leggings and their prices as a VIP member, um, Fabletics does a great job. I ended up getting these camel pants. They go all the way down to my ankles. They're, they're regular. I believe this is a 2X that I ended up purchasing. And then um, fits like a glove. I absolutely love the fit of these camo leggings. Super comfortable and I absolutely love them. The reason why I prefer compression garments is that I tend to notice that these don't tend to roll as much. And I love the fact that they hold me in. So if I'm doing like a legged workout or something like that, they tend not to fall or slide down like some of the other leggings. Now the sports bra is a high impact sports bra. Now super comfortable. I love the fact that it doesn't go all the way up to my neck, but it does have a full coverage in the breast area. What I really do love is the detailing here in the back. It has this crisscross fashion in the back and it has these little cutouts here as well, which I absolutely love. I ended up buying these two in the same color. You could kind of mix, mix and match the colors that they have on their website, which is great because you don't have to just stick to one color in order for you to get those uh, discounts. So this is outfit number two from Fabletics. Um, I believe the pants and the sports bra were a set and then I ended up buying another seamless top. The top is very similar to the black one. I just ended up getting it in a different color because I think this would either go well with the last pair of pants that I had um, or with this cream colored uh, leggings. 
Now, uh, let me talk about the leggings first. So let me take off my top so we can see both the sports bra and the top together. I'm not gonna really go over the top too much because like I mentioned, it's the same, just a different color as the black top. All right, so with this, it's the set. I thought I ended up purchasing this in the same color, but unfortunately I ended up buying the sports bra in white and the bottoms in like a cream color. So they're a slightly off, but the good thing is, is that I usually wear a top over it anyway, so nobody's gonna know that I'm wearing two different colors. Now, the sports bra, we'll start off with that sports bra. I think this is more like a medium support sports bra. Um, issue with this is that it goes kind of low here, so it tends to roll up on one side here because this is like the smallest part of my waist here at this area. It does have cups on the inside, so you're not able to see through it. One thing that I really like is this back. The back area has this pocket here in the back, so you are able to put like your phone uh, in there. So if you're at the gym or something, you wanna listen to music, the great thing is, is that if you have your phone there, you could have your earbuds and it's completely out of the way. So you don't have to have like a band or keep it in your pocket or anything like that. Now, um, it, it's good. I, I like the top, but it's not my favorite. I just don't like medium support tops and I don't like the fact that this part keeps um, rolling up on me. Uh, I believe this is a double X and it kind of fits me loose here. Um, I wish that it was a little wider in this area and it had a little bit more support. That's my thing about this top. Now, the leggings. Again, these are the power holds, so these will suck you in. Double XL, they are see-through. I am wearing um, some underwear underneath and they are white and pink and they have little speckles on them. So you are able to see the speckles through them, but not very um, clearly because the pink, of course, is um, pretty bright. So if you're looking for something that's squat proof, these, unless you're wearing a neutral colored underwear, then at that point, you're not gonna be able to see through it. But overall, I mean, it's cute. I mean, I love the color on it. I love the fact that they're high compression, so it kind of hides your cellulite on there a bit. So it's not so noticeable on these type of leggings because they hold you in. Okay, so outfit number three, black leggings and a black sports bra. Classic, right? Most people love the color black. Um, and honestly, again, power hold my favorite. So that is what I got. Has a little interior pocket here. And um, it is slimming and smoothing because it does have the compression. Um, a perfect length for me. These are not the seven eight pants. These are just regular leggings and I'm five five and they fit me really good. Now, when it comes to the sports bra, again, they do have cups inside and I like this one. This one here again is I think medium support um, and um, all of the action when it comes to these sports bras are always in the back. I love the back and I love the look. So it has the black and white. So, I mean, if you wanted to wear a pair of white, um, pants with these or a pair of white leggings, they would actually go well with the sports bra because of the colors. And the back of the sports bra, super comfortable, easy to put on, great to pull over, and it has really good support on these. I probably wouldn't go running or anything because this is not a high compression sports bra, but it is super comfortable and I just love the look, not only of the leggings, but also of the sports bra. So it's super cute in the back. A lot of people love to have some sort of design when it comes to these sports bras and Fabletics offers them as you can see. All right, so this is the last outfit and it is three pieces. I believe I purchased the hoodie separately, but the bra and the leggings together. So um, I purchased this hoodie. Um, honestly, I didn't know what to expect because what I wasn't looking for was for something that was cropped. And I'm glad that this is not. I ended up purchasing this in a 2XL because I wanted it oversized and that's exactly what I got. I got an oversized hoodie and I love the fact that the inside is almost the same color as the outside, but it is fleece material. So it's super cozy and warm, official hoodie with pockets in the front. And then of course it has the hood in the back. 
Now it has a little Fabletics logo that's embroidered in. And then from there, um, it has this little um, adjustable uh, strap here so you could tighten the hoodie if you need to. But overall, I really love this hoodie and I love the colors. I know some of you are like, I hate camo, I don't like it. They don't just have camo colors, so I don't want you guys to think that camouflage everything is what they have. I just picked it because I like these colors. And I just didn't want to get the regular camo green because even though I like camouflage, I wanted something with some color because I love color in my wardrobes. All right, so let's talk about the leggings. Again, power hold because it is my favorite and that is the only thing that I will buy when it comes to the leggings at Fabletics. Fabletics also does have other style leggings that do not have seams in the front. Um, I just don't like those because they are super stretchy and to me, um, you could the material is usually a lot thinner and you're able to see like all the uh, lumps and bumps that you may have. So the power hold, I just feel like it's more compressing. And when it comes to the other type of material, if you're doing like jumping or jump rope or anything like that or running, they tend to slide down on me where the power hold doesn't go anywhere because it just holds in place. So these leggings, very similar to the last ones that you saw, um, good length goes all the way up here. So it has full coverage when it comes to this. This material um, and this color is not see-through. I already did the little squat test and you're not able to see through it. Um, however, I would probably stick to a lighter colored underwear um, for this because if you are wearing something black, probably the more that you wash it, the more see-through it is going to get. And I am one of those that just throws it in the washing machine and throws it in the dryer. I don't hang dry anything because I like to keep things simple and be more time effective. So when it comes to the sports bra, uh, this is a light compression sports bra. So for walking, hiking, outdoor activities, I really think that this is a great sports bra as long as you're not running because it doesn't have very much hold down at the bottom because it has a very stretchy bottom here. What I do like about this bra is that it's kind of like a convertible bra in two ways. One, it uh, connects here at the very top to kind of give you the chance to wear a open back or a um, cross on a tank top. Or you have the ability of unhooking this here and it just has two regular bra straps and then it has the adjustments on the back where you're able to adjust the bra so you could fit different types of tops that you may be wearing. This also does have padding on the inside that is removable, that can be removed. Um, again, this here is a lighter compression garment or a lighter activity garment. So it really depends on what type of activity that you're gonna be doing when it comes to this sports bra. So there you have it, folks. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please hit the like, subscribe, and the notification bell below as new videos do come out weekly. If there is a specific brand that you want me to try and tell you whether or not it's worth it, let me know below. I'm thinking of maybe like Daya and Company and I know that Nordstrom's has like a Nordstrom's box that they get and I wanna know if it's worth it or not as well. So those might be some upcoming videos later on next year. Also, I wanted to wish everyone a Merry Christmas. I know today is the day after Christmas and I hope that everybody had a great time. I know when it comes to New Year's, a lot of people have the resolution to get fit or to be a little bit more active and Fabletics has some great options for you. So if you think it's worth it, great. If you don't, then you know what? It's all good. There's many different brands out there that you may also love. So I'm going to see you guys in the next one. I went ahead and put my image here. So you could just go ahead and hit my image, subscribe, and you're all set. Or uh, you can go ahead and click on this video because I'm pretty sure that you will enjoy that video as well. Thank you so much, folks. I'll see you guys in the new year and stay stylish, my friends.